It's chaos time again here on MTG and Pet. We're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes for patrons. And these are my vision for how a mystery box should be. And with me to do the pack blessings, we have Elspeth. So let's introduce the patrons. We have Eric Polanco and Benjamin Sullivan. So we're going to do a die roll and see who gets what. So we have five boxes left. Let's do the roll. Number four will go to Eric. And down to four. Number one for Benjamin. All right, so we'll set the others aside. Stay tuned for those in future videos. Okay, so let's get started here for Eric. We will dig in. Okay, so what do we have today? We have Modern Horizons, Corset 2012, Armand Ket. We get a Gideon Foil, take a look at that momentarily. Theros, and two packs of War of the Spark. That's how we bless the packs. Okay, so we'll do something like this. And take a look at Eric's Foil here. So we have... Gideon, ally of Zendikar. This is a promo from BFZ. Very cool falling. Planeswalker Gideon, four loyalty for four. He's plus one until end of turn. He becomes a 5-5 five, five human soldier ally creature with indestructible that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn. His zero ability put a 2-2 white knight ally creature token Onto the battlefield. His minus four, you get an emblem with creatures to control, get plus one, plus one. Some nice foiling there. Let's get stuck into it. Thank you for being a patron, Eric. War of the Spark. And incidentally, the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, as well as the planeswalkers and art cards. Okay, we have Chain Whip Cyclops, Teo's Light Shield, Spellkeeper Weird. Aid the Fallen, Primordial Worm, Wall of Runes, Arlen's Wolf, Iron Bully, Callous Dismissal, Uncommon's Eternal Skylord, Bond of Revival, Grateful Apparition, and the rare is Raoul Storm Conduit. Legendary Planeswalker Raoul, 4 loyalty for 4. And if you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, he deals 1 damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. He's plus 2, Scry 1, minus 2. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Very cool. And a... Oh, look at that foil. Erratic Visionary. I like that foiling. And a swamp. And a servo token. Okay, onwards to Theros. So out of these packs here, which is your favourite set? Is it Modern Horizons or is it one of these others? Leave a note in the comments. Next up we have Minotaur Skull Cleaver, chosen by Heliod, Traveller's Amulet, a Crown Crusader, Thassa's Bounty, Lagonaband Elder, Priest of Erewis, Fade into Antiquity, Return Centaur, and Uncommon's Karamatra's Acolyte, Perforos's Emissary, Favoured Hoplite, and the rare is Temple of Mystery. Very nice. If I'm not mistaken, this is reprinted in Corset 2020. It's a land, it enters battlefield tapped, and when it enters battlefield, scry one, you can tap it for green or blue. Very nice artwork on that one. And a foil, Triton Shore Thief, Merfolk Rogue, and an island, and a Satyr token. Okay, so onward to Armanket. Still looking for the invocations. These are from a new booster box, so maybe we'll find one. Next we have Supply Caravan, Essence Scatter, Dune Beetle, Spidery Grasp, Shimmer Scale Drake, Blazing Volley, Painful Lesson, Emberhorn Minotaur, Cradle of the Accursed, Floodwaters and Uncommon's Gate to the Afterlife. That was a good one in the Godfarrow's Gift deck back in the day. Sixth Sense, Lay Bear the Heart, and the rare is Honored Hydra. Creature Snake Hydra, lovely. Six, six for six mana with Trample, Embalm, three and a green. 
So you pay that exile this card from your graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie snake hydra with no mana cost, embalm only as a sorcery. Even gods have pets. Okay, I would want to steer clear of that. A plains and a sacred cat token zombie cat. Next up, 2012 core set. And the packs don't want to open, they're getting a bit old. So what is this? I think this came out in 2011. So probably about eight years old. Okay, finally got into it. Okay, we have Gornhorn, Gornhorn. Gornhorn Minotaurs, yes! That's what it is. Drifting Shade, Aether Adept, Disentomb, Divine Favor, Lava Axe, Frost Breath. Zombie Goliath, Harbour Serpent, Glade Cover Scout, and Uncommon's Alluring Siren. Cudgel Troll, we have been trolled again. That happens from time to time. Consume Spirit. And the rare is Royal Assassin. Creature Human Assassin 1-1 one, one for 3. Tap, destroy target, tapped creature. Okay, and what is this? Creatures with Hexproof. All right, sounds like a good deal and a swamp. Next we have War of the Spark, looking for the Mythic Planeswalkers. We got a crazy pull the other day out of this, so that was very nice indeed. Next we have No Escape, Grim Initiate, Makeshift Battalion, Contentious Plan, Courage in Crisis, Soren's Thirst, Spell Gorger Weird, Topple the Statue, Herald of the Dread Horde, Gateway Plaza, and Uncommon Storm the Citadel, Devouring Hellion, Samet Tyrant Smasher, so you'll get that one as well, and the rare is Deliver Unto Evil, Sorcery for three, choose up four target cards in your graveyard if you control a Bowler's Planeswalker, return those cards to your hand, otherwise an opponent chooses two of them, leave the chosen cards in your graveyard, and put the rest into your hand. Exile, deliver unto evil. Who's a Nicol Le Boilers fan? Leave a note in the comments and a forest and a wolf token. Okay, rounding things out here with Modern Horizons. Okay, so I'm still pretty happy about this set. Seems to have a lot of good value in it. Hopefully that will be the case for the patrons today. We have Shapeshifter. We got a Sisse. Very cool artwork. Snow covered island, I'll chuck that in as well. And a mythic, yes! Yogmoth Thrand Physician, legendary creature, human cleric. 2 4 for 4, protection from humans. That's hilarious. Pay one life, suck another creature, put a minus one, minus one, count on up to one target creature and draw a card. And for two black, discard a card, you get to proliferate. Choose any number of permanents and or players and give each. Another counter of each kind already there. Very nice pull there for Eric today. And Uncommon's Carrion Feeder. Ever Dream. Dragscape Sliver. And Common's Stream of Thought. Venomous Changeling. Orcish Hellraiser. Fountain of Icor. Selimgar Scavenger. Twin Silk Spider. Headless Spectre. Reprobation. Moonblade Shinobi, Human Ninja, who is a fan of the ninjas, and Spinehorn Minotaur. Okay, so that is it for Eric. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Fantastic pull there at the end. And if you too would like to become a patron like Eric and Benjamin here, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description for this video. You can check that out. Okay, onward to Benjamin's packs. Let's see what he gets. Okay, so Modern Horizons is the theme of the month. We have 2012 Corset Armin Ket, Gideon Blackblade, very cool, we'll check that foil out in a moment. Theros, and two packs of War of the Spark. Okay, we'll do the pack blessing like so. And we'll leave that till last again. Let's do something like this. Okay, Benjamin, thank you for being a patron, sir. We'll take a look at your foil here. 
We have Gideon Blackblade, Mythic, from War of the Spark. Legendary Planeswalker Gideon, 4 loyalty for 3. As long as it's your turn, Gideon Blackblade is a 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible that's still a Planeswalker. He likes to do that, doesn't he? Prevent all damage that will be dealt to Gideon Blackblade during your turn. His plus 1 up to 1 other target creature control. Gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink, or Indestructible until end of turn for minus 6 XL target, non-land permanent. Very cool. Who's a Gideon fan? Leave a note in the comments. And if you're a fan of Elspeth, we shall see. Hopefully some of the remaining packs, or remaining boxes I should say, will have an Elspeth or two. Okay, let's dig in. War of the Spark here. Looking for Mythic Planeswalkers. It's going to be tough to beat that one we pulled last week. We have Goblin Assailant, Creature Goblin Warrior, Loxodon Sergeant, Kazmina's Transmutation, Goblin Assault Team, Vivian's Grizzly, Tamiyo's Epiphany, Trusted Pegasus, and Uncommons, oh not Uncommons, no, Bane Hound. Okay, Giant Growth, getting a little carried away there, Cyclops Electromancer, okay, now we're on the Uncommons, Ugin's Conjurant. Now, Hairy Storm of Stone, I'll set that one aside for you. And nice Blast Zone. It's a land and spatterfoot with a charge count on it. Tap, add color smatter for two X's. Tap, put X charge counters on Blast Zone. And for three, tap, sack it, destroy each non land permanent with command mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on Blast Zone. Very cool. Oh, is this a. Foil, Davriel Rogue, Shadow Mage. It's sort of muddy there, but definitely a foil. Very nice. And a Swamp and a Wall Token. Okay, let's rearrange things a little. Core Set 2012 up next with the hard to open packs. These are the ones you just about need a pair of scissors to get into them. Okay, what do we got? A giant spider. Manalik. Angel's Mercy. Stonehorn Dignitary. Tormented Soul. Amphan Cutthroat. Oromancer. Taste of Blood. Stave Off. Merfolk Mesmerist. And Uncommon Stormblood Berserker. Overrun. Tectonic Rift, and the rare is Birds of Paradise. Nice, how can you go wrong with that? Creature Bird, zero one for a single green, has flying tap, add one mana of any color to your mana fall. Mana fall. Your mana fall, yes. I don't know what is happening today, people. Soldier token and a forest. Okay, so, Armin Ket. This was the set that started the madness. I got into magic with this one. Is this one you started with as well? What do you think of Armin Kett? Leave a note in the comments. We have Compelling Argument. Brute Strength, Giant Spider, June Beetle, Gust Walker, Supernatural Stamina, Magma Spray, Decision Paralysis, Scribe of the Mindful, Uncommon's Manglehorn, Honored Crop Captain, Vizier of Tumbling Sands, and the rare is Fetid Pools. Land, Island Swamp, you can tap it for blue or black, and to the full tap, you can cycle it for two. And a foil, Cartouche of Ambition. There we go. And a Plains and a Warrior Token. On to Theros, looking for the gods here. Okay, what do we have this time? We have Lash of the Whip, Minotaur Skull Cleaver, Death Bellow Raider, Savage Surge, Farika's Cure, Rage of Perforos, Feral Invocation, Return Centaur, Hopeful Eidolon, Fate Foretold, Uncommon's Burnished Heart. I know that was one of the few Uncommon's worth more than a buck, so I'll set that aside. Dark Betrayal. Sea Lock Monster! What the heck? Giant Octopus! And a Mythic! Yes! That's our God of the Sea! Legendary Enchantment Creature God! 
Five, five for three with indestructible. As long as your devotion to blue is less than five, Thassa isn't a creature. What's all that about? Each blue in the mana cost of permanence you control counts towards your devotion to blue. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one for one and a blue target creature you control can't be blocked this turn. Nice to see a mythic god there and a swamp and a bit about enchantment creatures. Okay. Back to War of the Spark. Looking for some Planeswalker craziness here. Okay, we have an invading Manticore. Bulwark Giant, Cura's Dambreaker, Raging Crunch, Vivian's Grizzly, Dust Mantle Operative, Spark Harvest, Arboreal Grazer, Divine Arrow, Wall of Runes, and Uncommon's Bond of Passion, Bond of Flourishing, Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor, and the rare is Living Twister. Creature Elemental 2, 5 for 3, pay 2 in red, discard a land card, and it deals 2 damage to any target for a green return attack land you control to its owner's hand. Okay, and a planes and a zombie army. Okay, final pack here. Modern Horizons, maybe we'll pull an Urza. That would be very nice indeed. Okay, a foil soldier token. Get that in focus. There we go. So set that aside for you. Throws of Chaos, I believe that is. Snow covered forest. And we're going to build the suspense. I know you love this so much. Let's see. Oh, we have a foil. Hopefully a very nice foil indeed. Commons, we have Lancer Sliver, Iceberg Cancrix, Crozan Tusker, Return from Extinction, Thornado, Ransack the Lab, Moonblade Shinobi, Spinehorn Minotaur, and Imposter of the Sixth Pride. Okay, so those are the commons. And uncommons, here we go. This one's pretty good. Scale up. Or scale guardian. And talisman of hierarchy. Okay, your foil is... Oh, a foil rare. Nice. Force of rage. Instant for three. If it's not your turn, you may exile a red card from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Create two, three, one red elemental creature tokens with trample and haste. Select those tokens at the beginning of your next upkeep. Some fantastic foiling on that one. Okay. And finally, Benjamin, what do we got? We have Kaya's Guile. Instant for three. Choose two each opponent. Sex a creature. Exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. Create a one, one, white and black spirit creature token with flying. You gain four life. You can entwine three, so choose all if you pay the entwine cost. Alright, so there we are, Benjamin. Thank you for being a patron once again, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.